Hello all, welcome back to Thespian Thursdays. Uh, Cynthia Mallard here. Hey guys, good to see all of you. And thank you so very much uh, for returning just to talk, you know, in front of the camera issues, issues behind the camera, everything uh, theatrical. So uh, again, uh, for those of you who are new to Thespian Thursdays, uh, we do this every week and it is so much fun. I, I enjoy all of the messages uh, that I get from all of you guys. So uh, I will ask you, how has your week been? I know mine has been super, super uh, busy as far as opportunities, right? Uh, and you'll see <laughs> some of those that are coming uh, coming out. Can't talk about them right now. Uh, but yeah, I have been busy. I know you guys uh, have been super uh, busy, um, even amidst the, the pandemic, right? So uh, we do know for those of us who are, are in the business, um, you do know that that you know everything came to a halt at, at one point in time, right? Especially when the the, the pandemic hit uh, in 2020, right? And so now it just seems like productions, a lot of the productions are, are coming back, and that is like absolutely uh, amazing. And, and I know that you guys are getting uh, the opportunities also. So kudos uh, to you all too. So anyway, uh, you're watching me again on uh, YouTube. Uh, be sure to hit that little red bell. Uh, that's because you can get all of the notifications when I release new content, uh, new conversations, new talkbacks, just everything on YouTube right here at Studio Set Stage uh, with me, Cynthia Mallard. So uh, today for Thespian Thursdays, a quick one and a quick in and out one. Uh, I was just thinking, um, uh, just rambling through my mind. My mind is like kind of scatterbrained sometimes. Um, I am, uh, you know, a working actress, of course, uh, but uh, a speaker. Uh, but I'm also <laughs> a working mother. <laughs> So I, I have a 10 month old and then I have a six month old. Some of you guys already know this. Um, and sometimes it can be very, very challenging. I, I know uh, many of you can relate, especially uh, with the pandemic going on. Uh, we are all self-taping. Uh, we're doing it at home. And then, you know, our children, everyone is at home. So I, I, can, <laughs> I can tell you guys, look, I got a little butt paste on my arm. <laughs> I had to change a diaper before I did that. It's Thursdays, okay? Uh, but um, uh, I was doing an audition, a particular audition uh, this week. And uh, you know, I was right in the middle and I was, you know, giving it my all and, uh, you know, just in the moment. And then um, you know, my husband, of course, he's my partner in crime. Uh, you, of course, he always, you know, we're working together to make this thing work, to go up the mountain. And I, all of a sudden, just I'm in the moment where we're recording, we're doing it, you know, and, you know, we had put the baby down, I think. And uh, <laughs> my little girl goes, she just starts to scream. And it's like a, the longest screeching scream that you can ever imagine. <laughs> Because we were like, okay, she's screaming, she's gonna stop. And we were literally like, <laughs> so anyway, it at that particular moment, it took me totally out of, I was just like, you know what? <laughs> we'll just we'll, we'll just do it a little bit later, you know what I'm saying? So we all have our we all have our challenges, right? I just I say that to say. Um, you know, we are in this, we're in this for the long haul, right? And you just, you have those times, you have those times uh, that are very, very um, challenging. <laughs> I want to say something else, but anyway, you get it, you get it. So anyway, let's talk today. Um, like I said, I was scrambling, search, like searching my, uh, searching my little mind, and um, I tuned into um, a live with um, a lot of you guys know uh, Lisa London casting, right? And you also know um, my agent, uh, the owner of my agent. Uh, Joy Purvis, and um, they had a live today, right? So I always encourage you, I do it myself, um, just, you know, especially we are at home, right? We're all on our phones, we're on our computer, and uh, there's a lot of information out here uh, that people are giving out just for free, and it helps you to level up, it helps you to up your game, it helps me. You know, uh, even if I just watch it, you know, you may not be doing it, uh, but if you sit there and you just listen and you just watch it and you're, you're, you're hearing uh, what these industry vets are saying, um, 
it gets into your mind and you, you start to, uh, to remember it when you are actually doing the work. So anyway, um, with that said, um, there was one thing that I was reminded of. And of course, uh, uh, we all know this, those of us actors who are uh, uh, trained, um, improv. So let's talk about improv, guys. Um, uh, some people, I know people always ask me a lot of times, you know, what's the best way of preparing uh, my child or what's the best way of preparing uh, myself, right? To just be a great, great actor. And I remember uh, my training. I, I mean, years and years and years, um, it was the class of improv, right? So uh, many of you guys know, you know, if you're studying, you have different classes uh, when it comes to uh, the art, the skill of acting. So you may have scene study, you may have, you may have uh, voice and body, um, you have um, voice, you know, but, but then you also have improv, improv, uh, and improv is amazing, right? Um, some people, you know, it scares them to death, you know, uh, because you're actually uh, creating the scene as you go. So yeah, so those of you who don't know improv, you're basically creating this live, amazing scene uh, from your mind, from your mind, and the scene goes further uh, with each person that's in the scene. So yeah, isn't, yeah, it's ex the most exciting thing in the world, right? But to some people, it can be very scary. Uh, but let me tell you, it is the one thing, guys, um, that has helped me uh, when I'm auditioning from year to year to year. Um, even when I, I, I get a call back, the times I've had callbacks, um, uh, the times where I drop a, I drop a line. Yeah, it happens, right? Uh, you, you forget a line on the paper. Um, but that improv skill, oh my God, it comes into play. And I, you know, my, my agent was, was, was speaking about that. You know, if you are great at improv, you know, uh, you can make it through a scene. You can make it through a scene uh, where you actually have a physical script, right? Imagine doing a scene and you have no script at all and everything is coming from your imagination. So real quick, um, I'll give you just a few points that I learned uh, in my classes when it comes to uh, improv. So there's a couple of rules to improv and I hopefully I'll get, get them all. I'm trying to remember, I, you know, of course I took notes <laughs> uh, for years. I have years and years and years of notes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's real. Um, so a uh, couple of the rules of Im improv, you always have to say yes in a scene, right? So you're like, what, what, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean, Cynthia? You, you have to already say yes. Um, so say if you're in a scene with someone and it, you're improving and they walk up to you and uh, they are about to, I don't know, give you a pan, uh, give you a pan of pizza. Pizza is my favorite food. <sighs> um, <laughs> they're about to give you a pan of pizza, you right? You got to take it. You got to say yes, right? Um, a lot of people in your go-to, especially when you first start improv, a lot of people like to maybe ask a question uh, in the scene. Uh, no questions, no questions. Why are you asking a question? Create something that moves the scene forward. So we, what do we say? Say yes, you always say yes. Um, avoid the questions. Uh, let's see, what else did I have? Um, know where you are, establish where you are. Um, yeah, know where you are, establish where you are. Um, Let's see, uh, oh, 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 oh. Always think about um, change, change in the scene. This butt paste is really like disturbing me. Again, butt paste is, is the paste you put on the baby's butt before the diaper goes on. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Um, but yeah, uh, figure out how can you change the scene? So we've talked about this before, I think in one of our Thesbian Thursday uh, classes, uh, tutorials uh, from 2020. I think I also did 2019. Uh, there are several ways uh, that you change a scene or whatever, right? But right now we're talking about improv. So listen, always say yes, never deny, right? Uh, you don't block, of course. Um, you avoid questions and produce some type of change, right? Uh, because you want the scene to keep moving. You want it to keep uh, going forward. And also, um, yeah, oh, uh, your location, always establish uh, your location, know your environment, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's just a few of, few of the rules 
of improv. But yeah, improv, amazing, absolutely amazing. Uh, it helps you just to like I said, uh, it helps you just to get out of your mind. A lot of times as actors, uh, we're so, we're thinking about, okay, you know, did I get the line right? You know, what am I, you know, but that improv just gives you a, a sort of freedom, gives you a freedom. It gives you a way to move, right? Uh, to, to, to go into another world and create it, uh, with, thereby helping you when you actually get the, the real script. I mean, it's, absolutely awesome. So listen, that's improv. I hope you uh, like that short, short tips and short tutorial guys. Um, try it in your bedroom, try it in your, in your living room, uh, try it with your kids. Kids are amazing. I was going to say, you know, that's a, I remember, remember when I was studying, uh, and my teacher would always say, if you have you ever watched children, it is the biggest lesson in the world. So if you're thinking about, uh, you know, foraying into this world, I watch a child, you know, Everything that they're doing is improv and it is masterful. I, I watch my son sometimes and it is masterful. Like they are on the planet. They've got the lava. They've jumped over the lava. They grab their friend's hand to help them jump over the lava. Uh, then they see the big monster. The monster is running after them. Uh, they get an imaginary rock. They pass it off to the other friend. Um, then they see a spaceship coming down. Uh, <laughs> They start cooking some food. Uh, they give it to the, the, the aliens that have walked out. <laughs> you know, um, the aliens turn violent. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> I really love, I really love performance. <laughs> I really do. So anyway, again, love you guys. And it was so good to uh, see all of you uh, this Thesbian Thursdays. Um, uh, tune in next week. Don't forget, guys, uh, Studio Set Stage on YouTube. Again, uh, much, much more content just like this. And also um, my podcast, uh, Studio Set Stage with me, Cynthia Mallard, and my partner, uh, Mark Dean. Uh, be sure uh, to tap in and listen to it. Watch it wherever you go, okay? Love you guys. Again, you can email me, studiosetstage at gmail.com, studiosetstage at gmail.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And see you next time.